I'm a bit drunk. I'm, I'm not single. But I fell in love for an hour in that room. Yeah. Amazing. I met you tonight in the Washington Square dog park. I'm kicking myself for not getting your number. I was the one with the diabetic Maltese. Maybe I'll see you in the park again? Your name is Christian, and I helped you locate your Uber, which was right in front of your face. <laughs> Thought there was a vibe? Uh, if not, we could just get Lime Maritas on a friendship tip. Hope to see you again later. You had lots of rhubarb in your bag walking out of the south exit of the Union Square Green Market. A man playing chess yelled at you that you looked like a champion. You didn't fight, and I believe you walked off to the train. I feel you in my bones. If you're reading this, you are so beautiful. Your aura and your smile are incredible and I was just blown away by your presence. I wish I would have told you in person. I did. Wishing you the very best. Marissa, the girl with the buzz cut. You were deep in a conversation with a friend about fractals. <laughs> deep enough that I, I didn't want to interrupt. I was in a dark green dress, seated at the table, beside you two for a while, writing in my notebook. I couldn't help but notice the way you ran your fingers through your hair when you were having a particularly complex thought. I liked that. I'd love to know more about you. You know that kismet moment when the universe presents you with this appropriate and incredible creature in this sea of people and then they speak to you with insight and wit and in defiance you think, mirage. You know, your, your, your eyes are growing tired, that silly little bit of doubt in you grows and grows and then turns into regret and you, and you think to yourself, no, no, I will refuse those feelings. I, I, I may not know what angels look like, but they must resemble her and I will not leave this town or this earth until I find her again. I met you in the Washington Square dog park. I, fuck. Almost got it, okay. <clears throat>